Hi everyone, welcome back to part two of our touch math journey. If you didn't watch part one yet, please make sure you go back and watch that video. Part one address numbers zero through five. Today for touch math, we're going to focus on six, seven, eight, and nine. Now there are less numbers to work with today, but these four numbers are a bit trickier than the first few numbers. Now, if you remember from the first video, every number gets the same amount of touch points as its number. So six will get six touch points, seven gets seven, eight gets eight, and nine gets nine. Now, you might be saying this number is basically just going to be full of touch points, even the number six. If I have to put six dots on this number, it's going to be completely full, let alone when we get over to nine, it's really going to be full. But the reason that these numbers are a little bit trickier is because six, seven, eight, and nine all have what I like to call double touch points. So instead of tapping my pencil one time, we're actually going to tap one, two, two times with our pencil. Let me show you where our touch points go on the number six. The first touch point goes right at the top. That's touch point number one. Then to show number two, I'm actually going to draw another circle. So when I tap with my pencil, I'm going to go like this. One, two. I hit the same spot twice. So I have one, two. Then right in the middle of our straight line in our six, we're going to do three, four, and then I'm going to come down for the bottom, five, six. So instead of having six different touch points, we actually only have three spots that we're just going to tap two times each. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's why we draw these a little bit differently. We draw a regular dot and then a circle around it. That means it's a double. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it makes it a little bit more manageable. Now let's go to number seven. Seven is actually very similar to number six. It just has one difference. With seven, we're going to start at the top, just like we did with six. And we're going to start with one, two, then in the middle, three, four, five, six. So it's very similar to six, one at the top, one at the middle, one at the bottom. The only difference is, is that seven gets a Rudolph nose. Seven and nine get a nose. Just like five got a belly button from the previous video, seven gets a nose and it comes last. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I count it the exact same way. Let's review six one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So those two are very similar, just that seven has its nose. Eight is actually one of the ones that students really remember very well. Eight has four double touch points. Eight goes like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This one is kind of like the number four from yesterday where students can really remember where they go, but sometimes they put them in the wrong order. So we go left, right, left, right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That one is not too tricky, but it's just about remembering the order that they go in. The last number for touch points and for today is the number nine. Nine, I would say, is the trickiest of the numbers because there's a lot of touch points and they're in some different spots. Here's how I teach my class how to remember these touch points. I have them think of the number nine 
as a person. So here's the person's head and his body. We can only see the side of his body, but this is our person. Now, number nine gets four double touch points and he gets a nose, just like number seven. Number nine, first we start on his forehead. Here we go, one, two, right on the forehead. Some of my um, students like to think it's a unicorn horn. Whatever works, starts on the forehead. One, two, then we go to the top of their head. Three, four, then we go down to the belly. Five, six, and down to the feet. Seven, eight, and then as we know, just like with seven, our nose comes last. And you can see it almost looks sort of like a little animal. So if we remind our students that it looks like a little animal, even if they draw the little eye and the mouth, that might help them remember, especially since nine has so many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The nose always comes last. Sometimes that's hard to remember. Sometimes we wanna put the nose first, but all the double touch points come first before the single touch points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's practice a few problems with these numbers since the first video we practiced with the smaller numbers. Let's take a look at these. Here's our first example, eight plus six. Now, if you watched yesterday's video, you'll remember that we only need to put touch points on the smaller number. So eight is bigger, so I'm going to ignore that for now, and I'm just going to put them on the six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Since I'm doing doubles, I did have to put that circle around the original dot. So I say the big number, then I'm counting up. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. The same way we did with those smaller numbers from the last video, just with some of the double touch points. Let's try another example. The next example is 12 plus seven. 12 is bigger, so I'm just going to ignore it. Let's draw our seven touch points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The nose comes last. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So even though these numbers are a little bigger than what we're used to, if we know where those touch points go, we can count to get the correct answer. Now for this problem, 13 is larger than eight. So I'm going to ignore my 13 and let's put our touch points on eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Remember eight is left, right, left, right. So 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Very nice. Let's try a double. Nine plus nine. Now we had a double yesterday. We had four plus four. And in that double, we just got to pick which one we wanted to do. I'm going to draw my touch points on the second number. Now I'm going to remember my little character here. I know they get two on the forehead, one on the top of the head, one on the belly, one on the feet, and a nose. Okay, here we go. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And that helps us count without using our fingers and without drawing a bunch of pictures. Last, let's try two subtraction problems since we did that yesterday. 
When we do subtraction, we ignore the first number and we touch point the second number. Five, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we need to remember to count down. So 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine. Make sure that when you're practicing at home that your child makes sure that they look at the sign. If it's adding, I need to count up, but if it's subtracting, I need to count down. Here's our last example problem for today. 20 minus 6. 20 is larger, so I'm going to cover it up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now I'm counting down again since I'm subtracting. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. And that's it. Just like the last video we talked about, eventually your child will know exactly where these dots are. These four might take a little more time than the first few dots. That's okay. Once they have them down, they might not even need to draw them. They can just tap their pencil to help them find the answer.